check that out now you people with two good eyes could obviously see that was a dude me i was i like i nearly snapped my neck off i just i caught a long floor locks so i was like whoa wifey material but then like my eye focus but hey i've got an excuse before you pass judgment check check that out see that oh it's my gunky eye man i have one bad eye and this my sight's not brilliant without my lenses and glasses anyway so um yeah got a bit of a i think i've got what is possibly a little ulcer on my eye so i'm going to get so that i'm going to the medical the center now i'm going to see the doc um i need to need to get some stuff checked out anyway um got home last night uh and um my eye was irritating from um the other night but got really bad last night jumped on the bike um should i say just started irritating couldn't sleep so in the end i ended up jumping on the bike at half past three in the morning angry cardio is good because you don't stop but i couldn't sleep so i thought rather than sit here fidgeting you know what i mean i'm gonna make good use of it so i jumped on did the cardio session did the trick knocked me out um and got some sleep but i'm going to get it checked today because um i've spoken to my optician and he said it's not good to leave alone so i'm going to go in the doctors but i reckon this is a blessing i've been planning to be at the doctors for a while now get some stuff choked like my blood pressure um coming to the shores i get the odd nosebleed and stuff which ain't good so i just want to get my blood pressure checked and stuff um so i'm going to go in there get that done maybe see about getting my cholesterol checked just a general mot um leading up to the shores which is a good thing so almost here now i think so We'll catch you guys inside and see what the doc has to say about this fine specimen of uh, a man. Brilliant, so probably, uh, hopefully a blessing in disguise is this dodgy eye. I'm going to get my blood pressure checked, which should have been done a long time ago. I'm here with Dr. Johnson. That's me. Just looked and I've not been here for five years. Should we just stir uh, swivel around now? Yeah, we can. Is oh, yeah, that's okay, that's mine. Five years! I've not been here since, which hopefully is a testament to my health and the healthy lifestyle. So you guys eat your fruits and your veggies. Um, but so I've got one eighteen on there. Is that? Should we look? Should we look? Yeah. I'll take here that. we go. I'll let you take that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's not. It's not actually got a reading, has it? Uh, we got a one eighteen, and then uh, it. Did it? Did it go off? Just uh, straight now. Straight. So yep. go. Try again. Does, it doesn't always pick it up straight away, actually. So this is a battery issue with the machine. It went up to 118. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, and then it, it did stay for a while. I think it's just. I can plug it in actually on the mains if need be. Takes its time. Yeah, it's fine. 110 over 60 is good. We like it sort of less than 140 less than 80 type of thing, so, so 110 over 63 is absolutely yeah. right. So 110 over 63 is actually lower than average, which is good, you know, that's, that's perfectly good. Okay, and what so, sort of things can it show up, what could it? Well, if you have high blood pressure, yeah, that, that's, that's a sort of risk factor for things like strokes and heart attacks. Okay. I mean, some people, they, they have high blood pressure because of poor lifestyle, you know, they, yeah. they smoke and they drink too much and alcohol and overweight and lack of exercise and things, but... You, you look like you keep breathing. Okay, and can it be yeah. a genetic thing as well? Because yeah. the reason it was a yeah. bit of a worry with me, well, not so much a worry, but, you know, it's been a history in the, the family of high yeah. blood pressure with my mum yeah. and my dad a little bit and stuff. Yeah. So I think if it's, a, if it's a strong family history, yes, you're, you're a little bit more likely to get it. The other thing is salt in your food. If you have a lot of salt in your diet, that's not terribly good. Yeah. Uh, and appears to be a risk factor also for blood pressure. So keeping the salt to a minimum, you know. Um, so fine, yeah, let's, let's just yeah. connect that. Let's yeah, sometimes we have people see the nurse too and they uh, have things like cholesterol checks. You know, that, that's, that's quite a common thing we do. So we check uh, blood cholesterol. You know, so Is that a lot different than the... Well, people see the nurse and it's just a, a needle in the arm and uh, they, uh, the sample's sent off to hospital and we get things like cholesterols coming back, you know. Okay, what would I have to do to have one of those done? You just have a word with the receptionist, just make okay. a with, with the reception. Uh, book in to see the nurse for a blood test. We write it down there so the nurse knows what you're coming for. Um, yeah, blood test is taken, sent off to the lab, and uh, they send us a result back. Yeah, so as you can see, the eye's a little bit red, but it shouldn't be uh, too bad. And we've had my blood pressure checked. Um, I'm really pleased about that view. 
issues in the past. We're wondering whether it may be a little bit high, but um, yeah, we're good with that. So I'm pleased I'm here. Just a recommendation for you guys, especially there. Why is it the black guys won't go to the doctors? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of young men don't come to the young doctors. Young men, young guys, get yourselves to the doctors, get yourselves checked. Um, it's always good to catch things um, before it gets too late and it's difficult to deal with. So, you know, don't be shy about going to the doctors. I'm going to spend the time going to the gym or popping into town to see your mates. And surely a half an hour or an hour out of your life is worth it to go see your doctor, make sure everything's um, just running as it should. Uh, so, this is me for now saying don't let anything stop me. Um, just back on with training five weeks to go to the British championships um, you're always going to come across obstacles and brick walls that throw up that try and put you off you can't let those just throw you out stride and turn you off you make your plans and once you set you go straight ahead with that so this is me back on track for my competitors nothing stops me not even my dodgy eye this is jason barnett signing out saying i love god i love people i love life and i'm out i'm dr johnson yeah and from me too <laughs>